Hello guys, um, I'm Jose, this is tutorial number 14 on building a 3D environment. Um, okay, so if you guys have uh, seen already tutorial number 10, we learned how to load an external library, right? Like going to the processing website and here in libraries, you can search through different libraries. Um, in this example, we're gonna first implement a very simple 3D environment, um, but then we we're gonna implement also the use of one specific library that is called PCCAM, that you can find it here under 3D. Um, and PCCAM is a very neat uh, library that allows us to control the 3D space of processing as if we were working in a um, 3D modeler software, right? So you can have rotation, uh, pan, uh, and zoom, um, and it works pretty well, and it works as, uh, very well as well with other libraries. So we're going to see how to implement that. Um, so let's start from the beginning, um, where our classic setup um, and draw. Right? Um, so we're going to do a size of 600 by 600 as usual, and a black background. Right, so what we're going to start defining uh, is uh, some additional information in this size function that for now has been only been the window, but we can also specify, if you look in the processing reference, we can specify the, the, the rendering uh, um, engine that we will use. So. Um, we will specify here P3D. This means processing 3D. This will be recognized already as a 3D environment. Um, so let's build some 3D object like a uh, box. Right. Box is, uh, if you look uh, into the, um, as well, the functionality of box, is just, this is just a, a box element um, inbuilt in processing. Uh, to look at it, we will say stroke. 255, so white stroke and no fill, right? Um, uh, so right now what we have, it's um, looking from the top, basically. We have this box element. Uh, we yet don't have any perspective, anything like that. The 0, 0 coordinate is here, so the box is located in the 0, 0 coordinate. So we're missing the other half of the box and the top part of the box. So this box is located in the center of the screen. Um, I mean, in the zero zero coordinate, right? What we need now is to specify a camera or where are we looking this model from. Um, so for that, it's quite uh, useful to really refer to the um, processing reference. We go to reference language, organized by letters. And if we go here in camera, um, let's see the syntax. This is the bit that I'm interested in. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to use it as a reference and explain what it means, OK? So I'm going to build it here in the setup. And by double slash, we comment it out. So we're going to start using it as a reference. Um, so what does it mean, this? I, X, Y, Z. I, X, Y, Z means the position of the camera. Then we will have center X, Y, Z as well. That is the location of the point where we're looking at or the we're aiming towards this point. And then up X, Y, Z, this is the tilt or the direction of the camera. Uh, so we will define what is up, um, so the orientation of the camera. Let's write it down. So camera, I will start with 500, 500, 500. Um, so this is the position where the camera is looking, 0, 0, 0, so we're looking at the center of the screen, and then we're going to define what it's up, so 0, 0, 1, right, so just for explanation purposes, I'm going to separate these uh, elements a little bit with space, that doesn't mean anything in processing, right, so we can see that there's, um, sorry, three ingredients, Right, three ingredients that are talking about what is the location of the camera, the location of our aim, 
and the locate I mean the rotation of the camera as such. So let's see what are we getting out of that. Right. So at this stage this box, uh, because we're looking at the center, and because this is quite uh, we're in a very kind of in the perfect uh, location for this diagonal axis, we're looking it might not be so clear what is this 3D. But uh, we can change that by saying 400. Here. Right, so and we're getting something like the box, uh, the center, it's in the middle of the box. Uh, so we are already in a 3D environment, right? Um, but we can't move, uh, we can't do much unless we start like really building some script that works with the camera in the draw maybe and it's updating the position of the camera as we are moving on. Let's try something like that. Maybe something quite simple like we're gonna specify something like a global variable flow set equals 500 right so and we're gonna say set equals set plus two and here we're gonna say set. So what I'm doing here in a very simple way it's uh, updating the camera in set every frame right so we're getting further away from the camera. So in this way if you have seen like really fancy animations out there in processing uh, this is a way of doing it like starting with one behavior of movement eventually like you can build an if statement and, and start uh, adding more complex behavior but with with this we already have some sort of um, small animation um, so that's one setup I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna show you now how to implement PC cam um, so as we have seen with uh, toxic leaves already we can use import and we're going to use the keyword PC dot um, star and semicolon. So we're importing PC cam. Uh, and if you are having problems by loading the library, you just need to install it properly. Go through tutorial number ten and check where do you have to put that content um, uh, and download the library, as I said, from the PC cam website. You can check the address here or get uh, through the uh, processing uh, website. Here in download, uh, download the zip format, put it in the document folder, okay? Again, check in tutorial number 10 for that. So when we import PCCAM, we can access the PCCAM library. So let's call it PCCAM. This is the class that is being provided. And if you look at the examples, they uh, offer, it suggested the um, name cam of the instance of the class. But it's important for you guys to, like, as we are getting used to loading different libraries, that, um, that you know that this part of the code is your own. It's whatever you want to call this instance of the class. For, so for our uh, purpose, I'm going to call it jcam. Like something like that, it doesn't really matter. But we have to be consistent of this instance of the class is the one that we will be using. So again, as many other libraries, the first definition of a class is uh, declared, right? This is the first step. Then I'm going to delete that as well. There's a second bit of the uh, information that we need. Um, it's really implement a new version of this. Uh, so initialize. We're gonna initialize this camera. So jcam equals new pccam. And pccam needs um, two bits of information to start working. One of them is this, and the other one is something like a hundred. Right? Um, this is, uh, I believe, the scale. Um, the scale, and a lot of people ask me what is 
this means. We will maybe understand it cl more clear when we actually go in into deeper kind of functionality of building classes, but what you have to understand that this means uh, the processing sketch that we're working on. Basically, processing itself is a class called p-applet um, that was written by Casey Rios and Ben Fry, and when we refer to this, um, this sketch means that uh, we are using this canvas and this uh, this class as, as, as the, um, one of the pieces of information that we need to provide for PCCAM to work. So, if you want to read more about it, read the documentation of PCCAM. But for if you're just interested in the functionality, this is what we have to um, type. So let's look at what we have at this stage. So we're starting from um, the top view, but as I'm right click scrolling back and left click dragging my model, I can see that the box that we have, the position of the camera is changing interactively based on the behavior of the mouse. Uh, I can use middle mouse as well, dragging middle mouse to pan, left click to rotate, and right click, drag to zoom in and out. So with this very simple setup, we can actually use processing as a working environment and explore some of the, from different angles, some of the behaviors that we will be producing.